Hello Makers, Larry from Wimbleworks here. A few days ago I posted a couple of pictures of my Lowrider 2 folded up vertically in my shop to the V1 Engineering Facebook forum. I was somewhat surprised by the amount of interest those two pictures generated, but a few people did ask for more information. So I thought I'd post up a video of it in hopes that some other makers might take inspiration from it and get the benefit of it that I have. My goal in doing this was obviously storing the CNC machine with as little floor footprint as possible. In fact, I wanted it to take less floor space than my old MP CNC, which was on a 4 foot by 4 foot rolling table. And the only way to do that was going to be to store it vertically. My lowrider has a 6 foot by 3 foot working area. The table is a torsion box designed similarly to the one that Ryan from V1 calls out on his website. It measures 87 inches by 43 inches. The gantry rides on two pieces of 1 and 5 8 inch unistrut, which are mounted on the sides of the long axis of the table. The name unistrut is actually a brand name here in the U.S. It's also known as strut channel or channel strut and can be found in the electrical section of most hardware or home improvement stores. The channel strut is pretty important here as it provides a way to mount things to it with backing nuts that you can also buy at the hardware store. The two biggest challenges in folding up the lowrider vertically were keeping the gantry from crashing to the floor and supporting a rather heavy table in the vertical position without it tipping over. For securing the gantry, I designed and printed some brackets which securely hold the wheels down to the table. I'll place a link to those brackets on Thingiverse in the video description. For raising and lowering the table, I designed a so-called cart, which would not only act as table legs at one end of the table when the machine is in use, but also be able to support the entire weight of the machine when folded up. This cart measures 36 inches by 36 inches with vertical risers on both sides uh, for the pivot points at the top of the cart. I then attached a small box made of 2x4 lumber to the table with a ton of pocket screws. Finally, I ran a piece of 1316 steel pipe through the pivots on the cart and the box that was mounted at the bottom of the table. I wanted the cart to be movable under the table a bit so that the table did not overhang the legs a lot when, when in the horizontal position. This ultimately added some unnecessary complexity to the system, and if I did it again, I'd probably just position the pivot statically. One thing I would like to mention from a safety perspective is to always make sure the cart wheels are locked when transitioning the table up or down, and of course, before storing the machine, make sure your gantry is secured. Well, that's it for today's presentation. Thanks for watching.